He's back. The Wonder Mayor of Australian Racing, Winks. He set the line up in Saturday's Group 1 Chipping Norton Stakes at her shortest quote in her illustrious career as she aims for her 23rd straight victory. It's race seven on the card to jump at 10 past four. Of course, she won her latest trial, which occurred in between races at Ramwick on Apollo Stakes Day. Now Winks is peeling into a three-wide position as they straighten up, and McIntosh leads by Fallings coming up the rise, but Winks is starting to get into her gear now. She's really starting to pick up strongly. Winks going after McIntosh. Unforgotten can't keep up, nor can McCreary, but now she goes into the top gear. Winks and extends clear inside the final 100 metres, and she's really starting to rip away in preparation for a comeback in the Chipping Norton in a fortnight. The big question this prep is, will she go to Royal Ascot or perhaps even an extensive European campaign? Only time will tell, but race fans everywhere can't wait for that decision to be finalised. She hasn't got any true wait for age challenges up against her here. The next in betting is one-time Victoria Derby winner prized icon, Tullick Lodge's Stampede, and decent middle distance type classic uniform. The next best back runner on the card as it stands after the Great Mare is in the last. Race night, a benchmark 85 over 1,200. The James Cummings trained Osborne Bulls was scratched at the gates a couple of weeks ago and the punters have been very keen to see him at the track again with lightly raced gilding well supported in betting. The $4.60 opening price is long gone. So he's race nine, number three. And make sure you have a crack at the big six. The first leg is race four. The pool's projected to get to around $200,000 for New South Wales tab customers or the markets for a massive day at Royal Ramwick or at tab.com.au or on your mobile app.